My name is Yana. And I'm Toriel. Nice to meet you. I finished this university, the University of Sofia, many, many years ago. But Toriel has just finished, he's just graduated. Greetings from Sofia, Bulgaria. My name is Jana and what you can see behind me is the University of Sofia. The University of Sofia is the oldest and most prestigious university in Bulgaria. I'm very proud to say I am a graduate of this university. I'm intending to make a My name is Jana and I'm here on the top floor of the University of Sofia. Okay. Because I'm intending to show you my department. I spent five years here, many decades ago. I have a degree in English, a major in English and a minor in Bulgarian. I'm a graduate of this university and I'm going to show you my department. Okay, here we go. It says Zapadni Philology, meaning literally Western Philologies because the word Zapad means West. Okay, I was here at the university in communist times, so all these languages, uh, English, German, French, uh, Italian, Spanish, we're actually this is the University of Sofia, and I'm proud to say that I'm a graduate of the University of Sofia. It was built in the 19th century, and it is the oldest university in Bulgaria. Um, my mom, sorry, my mom um, graduated from this university. Um, I think we have other members of the family that are graduates of this university. So I can say we have a family tradition, it runs in the family. Um, I have a major in English and a minor in Bulgaria, in Bulgarian. Language, the day of Bulgarian culture and the day of the Bulgarian alphabet. Now, as we all know, the Bulgarian alphabet is the only Cyrillic alphabet that is currently used in Euro European Union, but many people don't know that it actually, the Cyrillic alphabet actually started its career from Bulgaria in the 9th century. And the story goes like that, well, long story cut short, uh, okay, uh, the then Bulgarian king, Boris I, in the 9th century, adopted the Cyrillic alphabet. Um, the name of the University of Sofia is Saint Clement of Ohrid, Saint Clement of Ohrid, and uh, Saint Clement of Ohrid was actually. <laughs> This is what the University of Sofia looks like from the inside. Beautiful, isn't it? Every time I get into this building, I feel awe and pride to be their graduate. A very nice um, gentleman, well, was, I was trying to film this video a minute ago, a very nice gentleman, um, obviously a security officer, reminded me not to forget this plaque, okay? Um, this is Saint Clement of Ohrid, Ohrid as the town, as um, the town in North Macedonia. Clement of Ohrid, a disciple of the brothers Cyril and Methodius, as you can see on the right, and creator of the first. videos to celebrate my professional day which is on the 24th of May. The 24th of May is the day of Bulgarian culture, of the Bulgarian alphabet and of the Bulgarian um, language and it is the professional day of We're actually called Western languages. This is the department, okay, Department of English and American Studies, Cathedra Po Anglicistica e Americanistica. Great atmosphere here actually. I used to teach here for a while. Oh, this is the department as well. Katedra po zapadni jeziki, Western languages. Zapad meaning West and jezik meaning language, okay? I'm going to show you where we had our seminar classes. <laughs> it is a little spooky. Uh, it is on the top, top floor, right under the roof, okay? This is the library, the university library, okay? 
they say that yeah, Sophia, um, I'm planning to film inside the university as well. I can show you now where the um, Department of um, Classical and New Philologist, Philologist, the way my faculty was called, was situated back then, I think still is. It is up there where you see the blue or maybe green roof and you can see these small windows. It's right there. Um, lovely atmosphere, academic and a little, um, you know, old-fashioned. Of course, there are many universities um, in Sofia and in Bulgaria. A disciple, a student of Cyril and Methodis, the two brothers who created the Cyrillic alphabet. Uh, but the two brothers, Cyril and Methodis, never, never made it to Bulgaria. Uh, their student, their disciple, their student, Clement Metoklis, Clement Metoklis came to Bulgaria and he brought the Cyrillic alphabet. Of course, the alphabet we're using today is very different from what they used at that time. But nevertheless, we Bulgarian people have had a huge, a long experience, a huge experience using this alphabet. In fact, we've been using it obviously for more than 1,000 years. Um, and uh, we, we love it. Uh, so the 24th of May is the day of the uh, Bulgarian alphabet. And I'm very, very happy to say that this is also my... ...higher school in Bulgaria in the 9th century. Um, he prepared 3,500 students. So I was actually very wrong when I said that the University of Sofia is the first university in Bulgaria. Um, but in a way, it's actually the first modern university, I suppose. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful building, from both from inside and outside. And at the end of this hall, uh, there is another plaque to commemorate and celebrate the two people that donated, that made this possible, that donated the money um, for the construction of this university. And these are the brothers, Evlogi, the brothers. So you can see at the top of the flag. lecturers, scholars, scientists, um, all these curious people who are eager to gain knowledge and to share it. Um, so happy 24th of May from Sofia, Bulgaria. Sofia is the only capital city where, in Europe probably, where the university is bigger than the uh, royal palace. And this is true. It's a huge university. Um, we used to call this place Galabarnica. Galabarnica, okay. Galabarnica meaning the top, top floor where the pigeon lives because the word galop means um, pigeon. I guess this is closed, but I'm going to show you it's a seminar. Okay, I was very happy here, and I'm using the opportunity to say hi to all the lovely people. I spent five long years here. Okay. Hello from Galabarnica, everybody. Wishing you health. These days... Uh, but Sofia University is certainly um, the most renowned university in Bulgaria. Its name is uh, Sveti Sveti Kliment Ochritsky and um, Saint, uh, sorry, Sveti Kliment Ochritsky, Saint Clement of Ochrit was one of the disciples, uh, one of the students, the disciples of uh, Saint Cyril and Methodius, who in, the, in their turn were actually the creators of the Bulgarian uh, sorry, the, uh, the Cyrillic alphabet. Okay, um, that's all for me for now. Have a lovely... ...professional day because I'm in languages. I'm professionally involved, um, actually, in teaching languages. I own a small school in Sofia, Bulgaria, and we teach 
Bulgarian to expats, not only expats living in Bulgaria, in Bulgaria, but also expats abroad. I'm not advertising, okay? <laughs> so um, I love teaching the alphabet. I love uh, actually help um, popularize my culture. We Bulgarians um, always think, have this thing about our culture being small, and uh, I'm very, very happy to be able to uh, let people know about my culture. So I'm going to celebrate the 24th of May today by showing you a little around uh, the University of Sofia. Thank you. Track to the brothers Evlogi Georgiev and Christo Georgiev. I don't know whether you can see it properly because of the reflection. Um, renowned, outstanding Bulgarian. Um, I cannot translate this word. We have a very special word, Vazrozdenci. Vazrozdenci is a person who donates, helps um, national causes. Vazrozdenci, Vazrozdenci. Literal translation, something like a reviver. Okay. Uh, they donated six million golden less for the construction of the University of Sofia. Um, beautiful building, both from the, in, from the inside and from outside. Sofijski Universitet.